Today, we are unboxing this 130EQ refracting telescope to check out all of its accessories, each neatly packed in individual protective packaging for added convenience and care. Take out the tripod, unlock the clasps to adjust it to the desired height, level the mount and tighten the knob. To install the tray, simply align it with the central pin on the tripod and press down until it clicks into place. Next, we'll install the equatorial mount. There's a threaded hole here and a screw on top of the tripod. Place the mount on top of the tripod, align it with the screw and rotate it clockwise until it's securely tightened. Now, install the counterweight bar. The small aluminum locking pin is adjustable, not fixed. Don't remove it or the counterweights won't stay in place. Align the pin, insert the bar, slide on the counterweights and secure them with the locking screws. Adjust as needed for stability. Now let's install the fine-tuning control rods. One controls the up and down movement and the other controls the left and right movement. Next, we will install the main optical tube. First, loosen these three screws on the fastening rings and remove the packaging bag. Loosen the fastening rings and place the optical tube inside. Then, gently tighten the screws to secure it, but avoid over-tightening to prevent damaging the tube. Ensure that the positions of the two screws and the markings are aligned on the same horizontal line. Next, we will attach the main optical tube to the equatorial mount. Align the base of the optical tube with the slot on the equatorial mount, then tighten the screws to secure it in place. Then, we will install the finderscope bracket. The installation direction is very important. Tighten the screws, then loosen the screws on the bracket, slide the finder scope into the bracket and tighten the screws again. Finally, open the covers on both ends. This telescope comes with five eyepieces, a 25mm, a 10mm, a 5mm eyepiece, one piece of black erecting and a 3x Barlow lens, which triples the magnification of the eyepieces. Now we install the eyepiece. The eyepiece is inserted here and tightened lightly with the fixing screws on both sides, but don't over-tighten. As shown, screw off the metallic sheath of the inverting eyepiece, which is 25mm and 10mm or 5mm. You can switch the black erecting eyepiece freely. The telescope also includes a smartphone mount and Bluetooth button, allowing you to attach your phone to the eyepiece and capture stunning celestial images effortlessly, making astrophotography more convenient. If your mobile phone has three cameras, find the correct one by covering each lens with your finger to see which one is active. This ensures proper alignment when attaching your phone to the eyepiece, allowing you to capture stunning celestial images effortlessly. Now open the main optical tube cover. Now our telescope is fully assembled and ready for observation. This fine adjustment control knob controls the left and right movement, while the other controls the up and down movement, allowing you to more precisely locate your target. First, let's use the finder scope to locate the target. Let's take a look at the result together.